We have team coverage tonight. The state of Alabama may have no confirmed cases of COVID-19, but that could be partly attributed to a lack of testing. The Alabama Department of Public Health says it tested fewer than 20 people. One local urgent care will be able to test people next week. NBC 15's Cassie Thambro has more. Yeah, test kits are in short supply and the resources to test those kits are limited nationwide, but doctors are hoping it ramps up soon. The list of notifiable diseases in Alabama does not yet include COVID-19, but state officials say they're working to make it to where the state has to be told when someone tests positive. Right now, there isn't a lot of testing going on at all, and it will remain limited indefinitely. We're told we'll have them mid next week. Dr. Richard Euler, better known as Dr. O, has two decades of experience and operates Compass Urgent Care. Dr. O says his facility will receive COVID-19 testing kits, but not many. Limited supply. Right now, they're, they're saying only 10 swabs is all we're going to get, so we, we're going to have to really just reserve it for the very the very, very sick patients, I guess. He's trying to figure out how to tackle the pandemic just like everyone else. That's a national lab that runs the samples and, and they're nationwide and they're struggling to get the uh, solution that's needed to test the sample and the number of swabs and all that. So they're struggling trying to ramp up just like everyone in the nation. In the meantime, the 10 tests will have to be rationed and they're worried about other supplies too. Gloves, masks and that sort of thing are a real challenge. We've got plenty but we're, we're hearing of shortages coming. Dr. O advises anyone who has been exposed to coronavirus to call a physician first on how to proceed and to see if a test is warranted. So if they're exposed to it, uh, you really have to break it down and drill down. Do you have uh, bad respiratory, heart symptoms, uh, immunocompromised? If not, 80 to 90% of those patients are just gonna be like a, a common cold. Now, once administered, those nose swab tests will take three days to come back with results, which is why you're hearing about so many people staying home instead of risking spreading the virus to others. Kim?